Osborne, there you are. So sorry I'm late, Mr. Red. I was busy with personal business. Anyway, this here is my assistant, Dr. Starline. Great to see you, sir. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. E.D. Anyways, let me see your pitch for McDonald's McRib? Yes, you read that right, Mr. Red. Starline and I came up with this wonderful formula that'll put the McRib back on the menu. It'll taste so good people won't even recognize as the authentic Kansas City barbecue sauce of the McRib. It'll also lead to increased profits. I like the pitch, Mr. Osborne, but the McRib is more cost-effective as an annual option. But surely with the right marketing, we can advertise the McRib's unique flavor. Oh, which reminds me, you're fired. What? McRib being an annual option is better for the business, and quite frankly, I don't like this pitch of yours. But you just said you liked it. You can't do this to me. I started this company. You know how much I sacrificed? You have 10 minutes to get the hell out of my building. And you'll have two days to live once I'm done. Hey Sonic, you down for some sparring tomorrow? Oh, yeah, sorry Nux, but I forgot to tell you, I'm gonna be away for a month. What? Yeah, Tails and I are going on vacation. Ever since the multiverse, we haven't really been able to spend time together. So, we decided to go to Chenan and see what we can do. I remember that place. Okay, I packed all your rings, your phone, and everything else. Thanks, Amy. Was I the only one who didn't know about this? What, you jealous or something? What? No. As a matter of fact, I could care less about where you guys are going. <laughs> Whatever you say, Knucklehead. Hey, Sonic. I got everything set. Cool. Well, we better get going. We'll see you guys next month. Give us a call anytime. Will do. Bye, guys. Bye. Safe travels. Are you ready to see what the world has in store for us? Ha! Huh, you know it, little bro! Let's do it to it! So, who's gonna watch over Mobius by their away? Well, it's not gonna be me. I'll tell you that much. After all the things Sonic has done for you, you can't just go out there and patrol around the village? Look, I respect Sonic. As much as I appreciate all the things he's done over the years, I prefer not to clean up Dr. Sonic's messes. And even if I were to patrol, I don't want people constantly bothering me like what Sonic has to deal with. I want the criminals to fear me. I want to hurt them so badly, they'll never do it again. I want them to run in fear. Fear of me. I want the village to be affected by my crusade. No criminal will ever think to do wrong by the village. Why don't you be a vigilante then? A vigil what? Yeah, vigilante. You know, like fighting crime outside of the law. And nobody needs to know who you are. That's what Spider-Man does, and he keeps his identity secret. I guess you're right, Amy. Well, not to toot my own horn or anything, but... Yeah, I'm right. If Sonic knew how I did things, that wouldn't be pretty. So, I'm gonna need a costume. No, people can still tell it's, it's me, even with the costume. Unless... You seriously want to use steroids again? You know, after what happened last time... Mighty, but this time it's different. Sonic and Tails are away and someone needs to patrol, and only this time, I'm doing things my way. I respect that. Well, in that case, uh, here you go. Do you have a name yet? I do.
Give me your purse, lady. And don't try calling for help. And who the hell are you supposed to be? Who cares? Let's kill him. I am Night Fury. Oh, wait, oh, uh, oh, just let me go. I don't ever want to see you two around here again. Or I'll do something that'll make date night with Merlin and Mason look like a freaking sprite trip. You hear me? Yes. Now get out of my sight. This guy's nuts. Thank you, Night Fury. I thought I was going to die. Not on my watch. I'll keep this village safe from animals like them. Are you sure you want to go through with this, Mr. Osborne? I know you love the McRib, but this will affect your DNA worse than it already has with the Goblin Serum. I am beyond caring. I must only taste the tangy Kansas City barbecue of the McRib. Uh, okay. Norman, the machine is unstable. It's too much. No. <coughs> More. I can taste the tingy Kansas City barbecue. I can taste it. <laughs> Norman? Norman! The McRib! I can taste it! <laughs> help! Someone help! I don't know if we should do this. What if Night Fury shows up? It's Night Fury! Well, I guess we'll just have to teach Night Fury a little lesson. Please, don't hurt me. I'll give you anything you want. Please, just don't hurt me. Pal, I'm not here to hurt you. Here, take my money. Please, I have a family. I just saved your life. <laughs> I'm not the bad guy here. I just got a call from Sonic. He said he and Tails are coming home tomorrow. Good, because I'm done. What do you mean you're done? I just don't think my method is working. The criminals are scared of me, which is what I wanted, but people are scared of me, the innocent. I don't know what I should do. If I were you, I'd go back out there and show everyone that you're the hero. That's what I've been trying to do, but... Hello? Hey, Nux. It's me, Mighty. Oh, hey. What's up? I've got reports of an aircraft going around the village. You think that's something Night Fury would want to check out? He'll be on his way.
So I guess this is where they could be. Dumbo, it's Night Fury. You thinking what I'm thinking? Latopi's gullible. Night Fury, we need your help. This maniac keeps chasing us. He won't leave us alone. Please, you have to take him down. Don't worry. You guys get out of here. You need to back off. And let you hot those two? Not a chance in hell. You two? Get out of here. You're making a mistake. You made a mistake when you messed my feelings. Listen, you've got the wrong idea. Keep talking, your lies anger me. You know, I've got a friend who's gullible. His name is Knuckles. How'd you know it was me? Seriously? I mean, you look like an echidna. I thought that stairways would work. Anyways, who are those two guys and why were you chasing them? The guys who got away are rough and tumble. They escaped prison and they were working for someone. I was chasing them to figure out who their boss was. Until you stepped in and took over. <sighs> I knew they were up to something. I'm sorry about this, Spider-Man. Can you let me down from here? I can help you, you know. <sighs> You're a piece of work, knucklehead. And that was the last of my web fluid. You think Tails might have some stuff to make the web fluid? Based on how much he spends his time there, he should have something. Good enough for me. You know, I'm genuinely impressed. I mean, look at all this stuff. A multiverse teleporter in the form of a watch? Nanotech weapons? Trackers? And this phone is on the next level of technology. And he made this himself. I mean, it's insane. And he's like, what, 17? I think you two should hang out more often. Last time I saw him, we fought against people from across the multiverse. Wait, what? Long story. So, what made you want to patrol as... Night Fury? Well, Sonic and Tails are away, so someone needs to take over. Also, I wanted to do this my way. I want the criminals to fear me, and it worked for a while, but... Now the innocent are scared of me, and I don't know how to fix that. Fear isn't how you clean up the village. They need hope. To know that someone's out there for them. Just show to them that you're a symbol of hope, not fear. Spoken like a true hero there. Well, I have my moments. Okay, I've got enough to last me a month. I like the sound of that, so what's the plan? Alright, so earlier they were talking about how they did a bank robbery before I started chasing them. And they said that they were working for someone. Goblin! Enjoy a McRib today, with a vanilla milkshake at your nearest McDonald's! <laughs> I prefer chocolate! The formula. Norman told me about the McRib formula. He must have used it on himself, so that he can only taste the McRib. I don't even want to know what the cappuccino serum does. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard! As ridiculous as it sounds, we've still gotta stop him with me? If you say so, let's go. Boss, we got the serum you wanted. Well done, you two. Now go. Make Ed beg for his life. You want me to beg? Not gonna happen. <laughs> You'll be begging for your life and regretting the day that you fired me! Norman? 
I'm glad I fired you. You're a psychopath. That's the nicest thing I've heard all day. And that's the last thing you'll ever hear. So nice of you to join, Spider-Man. And I see you've brought a friend with you. Just let Mr. Ed go. Hmm. Very poor choice of words. <laughs> I don't know why you insist on saving this piece of scum. His death would have been quick and painless, but now that you've really pissed me off, I'm gonna kill your friend first, nice and slow, just for the fun of it. You'll have to get through me first! How about we go a few rounds, Echidna? Ha! <laughs> Your funeral. You said something about my funeral. Are you ready for yours? I laugh at the face of death. Attaboy. Is everyone okay?
I'm starting to see that I've affected here. But not the one I attended. Fear won't make the village better for anyone. I have to become more. People need hope to know that someone's out there for them. The village has been through so much like me. Our past can change us or destroy us. But if people can change the present, I give us power to endure, the strength to fight, and the ability to make the difference for our future.